So in this video, I wanted to talk about this speed reading app that's been mentioned all over the place, all over blogs. And this is one of the articles that you can read and have a look at it. Uh, the um, headline is, this insane new app will allow you to read novels in under 90 minutes. Great, catchy. Um, but it also talks about um, that it's going to be available in the future on Galaxy uh, devices and even smartphone but I was like well you know that's great but I might not even buy any of those in the future and what I really want is to be able to use it today so um, this is how it looks it basically takes the words that you are about to read and puts them in one place it's called something like optimal reading point so it's easier for your brain brain to process the information so this example here it's pretty much um 250 words per minute and um, there's another one which is 350 words per, per minute and the last one would be 500. so i've started looking online if there's anything available um as of now and i've uh, i've found about two um chrome extensions which is basically an additional software that you install in your chrome browser and it extends its function functionality. So the one I'm going to be showcasing, showcasing today, and which I think is a little bit better than the other one, is something called um, Read Line. Um, and it works almost the same. It's an app or a Chrome extension which is trying to simulate the, the behavior. It's not perfect. Um, meaning that sometimes you've got really long word or you've got actually two words next to each other but it's still good enough especially yeah it's really good enough so it almost looks like the, like like the, the examples that you see see here and or very very close so just to show you how it works so basically you pick a random article from the web and you start selecting the text you want to read hold on I'll just switch the tab so you're on the same page as me so I've got this random article it can be pretty much any 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 other it can be even like sometimes like different apps like Feedly or I don't know of any other let's say Feedly RSS reader right so you select the text you want to read let's say it's gonna be the whole page and you pretty much let go at the end right and it loads up the text and presents you um, that in the same way so that's great right this is probably something you you, you wanted so again the, the the chrome extension is called read line you can find it on um google uh chrome web store if you or maybe even on google if you if you search for that um and so so yeah that, so that, that's great right we've got this but then i also like um stumbled upon in my uh, Facebook feed like girls are like oh you know if I had this for my scientific works I'd be fucking genius excuse my French and I'm like yeah let's try that right so so but the thing is like okay so how what was the format of most of these scientific papers or, or books or any any of your books necessarily not accessible on online on a website or web page it's, it's probably gonna be in a PDF form so I started looking for PDFs online. So let's say this is random one. It's public um, paper document. So I was like, okay, let's let's try the same thing here. And basically, it does not work. And I thought it's a it's a problem. It is certainly. So I was trying to take the PDF into different services. If it works there, maybe you know different reader like Google Reader or whatever. It it just doesn't work. So I was trying to find a hack um, for that and just to make it work. You know, let's say. So 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 basically, first thing I tried is to copy the text and stuff and save it on my desktop computer. Wouldn't work. But then I was looking a bit deeper and I found this, this service which is called Cloud Convert and it says convert anything to anything. So I figured that, you know, we might want to convert this to a text file or to EPUB, like an ebook, and then load it in somewhere else, like for example, Google Playbooks. And it actually does work, even the text file, if 
though if you open it in a web browser not from your ro local um, storage like if you save it on a computer and then load it in the browser it needs to be online it needs to be downloaded for, let's say from um, Google Documents that's how it worked for me so so how would you go about it so basically you find or load your PDF and then you save that PDF to Google Drive that's kind of probably the easiest way I've got another extension which does the job uh, exactly uh, like I want it um, without me doing much work so I just saved the I just saved the PDF to Google Drive and now I'm gonna be loading the same PDF file from my Google Drive onto this cloud convert um, service so it's looking for my PDFs I've got some law here which is the health and safety law so I've selected the, fi selected the file and now it's asking me which format do I want to transfer to so there is um, two options I found which are pretty good for myself. One is um, it's going to be in a text file, plain text, no formatting, nothing. But then you can load it up in the Google Drive and display it there and it's going to work. Let's have a look on that first, right? So um, I selected the type format start conversion. I've got here selected the, that it's going to be saved again into my uh, Google Drive. And then if I open a new tab and go to drive.google.com, I've got the file already converted into a text file, just like so. Um, when I want to open it, it's going to ask, well, this is a preview, but then I want to open it in actual viewer. and and ta-da, you know, all that stuff, all that text. Cloud, Cloud try it again. I'll just tell you the first word, go down at the bottom and, and shift and click at the last word. And there we go. This is all the text from the PDF. It works, right? And that's pretty cool. That's already pretty cool. You you might want to upload the whole book of yours this way and convert it and, and stuff, you know, and read it um just just like this with the with the ex ex extension. But there is also another version or another um hack or workaround, which is to take the file, the PDF file, and uh, and transfer it to EPUB and then upload it to Google Books, uh, Google Play Books. And th which allows you to either read it um, in their uh, web uh, client or the same book you can um, read on any other device and even have it like read to you out loud which is pretty cool sometimes you don't want to or sometimes you're on the go you don't want to read the book you just want to go on in the book but like just listen to it yeah, so it's quite quite nice Whoops. so what I'm doing now is again selecting the same file um the pdf now i'm going to be changing the format um as an epub and and convert it now i'm going to be going to uh, playbox and it's going to be in a section which is called Upload. So this is basically where you upload all your documents and, and so this time it's not going to be PDF because that wouldn't work by the way as well because the PDF is actually shown as, shown as a image and you cannot sell like, text in an image file so that's why we did the uh, conversion to EPUB right so now I've got here the upload files button I'm gonna select my file straight from my drive which is the epub the law dot epub uh, press select and now it's being uploaded and processed right in a few seconds gonna be ready just like so I'm gonna be opening the the, the ebook and it would not work let's try it again well, let's just double check what's, what's wrong here ah so it does work indeed so there is little 
problem, uh, maybe. It's a bit more work. I don't like to do, but you know, it's not too big deal. So I've got a settings here for my font. Um, so which I put down and also line height. Uh, I've put a bit down because I want to have as much of the text displayed on one page like so uh, as, as possible. And the reason is is because that you select the text, but you can go to the next page. So you only can um, select two pages at once. It's not a big deal, but you know, you can't read the whole document this way. And again, as before, it works nicely with no problem. With the extension, by the way, also you've got an option to go um, with a reading speed down or up. So uh, currently I'm at the reading speed 500 words per minute, um, but you can start with 250 or go up to 1000. So, so the reason why I like the, the another reason why I like the um, Google Play Books app is that as you just seen, you can select a word and or text, let's say, and then add a note, translate it, copy it, or search for Google for like, let's say a certain keyword. Uh, you can um, highlight it and, and do a little bit more than with just the uh, simple text, right? So this is why you might like it also. Um, and guys, I don't know, like, I think this is pretty much it. So what I've shown you uh, in this video is what is the extension, uh, Chrome extension, and it's actually possible to, to use the speed ringing app now, as of today, you don't have to wait for the Galaxy phone or the Galaxy gear. So really simply, you can read any of the websites, even your emails um, and other stuff. There is certain things that don't work, by the way, uh, which is like if you, if you buy a book on Google uh, Play, it, because it's uh, digitally protect, protected, you won't be able to use the, the Chrome extension, which is a little bit annoying, uh, but I didn't find out the solution to that yet. And then what I've shown you is that actually it is also pos possible to use it with any PDFs if you work around it a little bit. But hey, you've got anything uh, available to you, right? And so yeah, that that's pretty much it. I hope um, you like it and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. See ya.